If you look at our world, approximately 1.1 billion people are living in slums. And United Nations tells us that in the next 30 years, we'll be having 2 billion people more coming to live in the slums. And Ham is saying that, let us pay attention to ministry in the slums. If you look at the world's population, and if 1.1 billion people are in the slums, then it means when we ignore ministry to the slums, we are ignoring a chunk. And into the future, many more people will be joining the slum community. Around 9 million people die every year of hunger and hunger-related issues. And a child dies every 10 seconds out of hunger. Now Ham is saying, let us pay attention to vulnerable children, children at risk, homeless children or children on the street. According to UN ODC, World Drug Report 2023 published on the 26th July 2023, people who inject drugs in 2021 are at 13.2 million, 18% higher than previously estimated. The number of people who suffer from drug use disorders has skyrocketed to 39.5 million, a 45% increase over the last 10 years. And I don't think it is getting better, as you can all testify in your nations. Ham is saying, let us pay attention to persons who abuse substances. Less than 1% of black people receive treatments for addiction in the UK. As developed as the nation is, only 0. something percent, that's less than one of the black people there, receive treatment for addiction in the UK. The church can take advantage of that. When we walk our streets, we find homeless people, neglected people, hungry people, asylum seekers, and all others, refugees and others in every part of our world. Now, as we go into establish Christ in the nations, let us pay attention to these marginalized persons and bring the gospel to them. I have come to this conviction without any doubt in my heart that there isn't any soul on earth who cannot be saved. I have seen drug addicts who nobody will accept that God has transformed and is using. I have seen Fulanis coming to faith, Muslims converting. So there is, there is no soul. What God is looking for is a church that means business and is launching out to reach out. Home and Urban Missions was birthed in 2019 with the mandate to pay attention to other nationalities such as the Spanish, French, Swahilis, Indians, Haitians, Black and White Americans, and many more in the U.S. And to see to the establishment of assemblies in the Anglophone nation. The ministry was also mandated to engage in special ministry to the Black Americans and Whites. And that's where we are. We need to get these people in our midst as the Lord has commissioned us. Our work also as Home and Urban is to uh, help the homeless, drug addicts, in all the urban centers, consolidate our gains already gained previous years. And it's our hope that all of us will come together and serve our communities in all the places that we find ourselves. We want to encourage all of you as we come together as ministers uh, to work together alongside Evangelism Directorate, Youth and Pensa Directorate, Women's Ministry, and together we want to win this nation for the Lord. We have now in the nation for the Francophone communities about six assemblies with two district pastors uh, to the glory of God. The Spanish community, by the grace of God, we have also around six assemblies created for the Spanish. And by the grace of God, we also have about three pastors and the evangelist who is also uh, helping uh, with the evangelism activities around the uh, North and South America. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Bringing greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
We thank the church leadership, the national executive regional heads. We want to thank all ministers and the presbytery officers of the church for the support that uh, HAM, which is our home and urban ministry, have received from you in the past. We say thank you. We thank the Lord Almighty for what he's used this group to accomplish. And uh, we bless God for what is ahead of us. In the past, HAM has been able to reach people groups that have not been reached so far. We are moving into other areas and I pray that all of us will get involved with this home and urban ministry, support it any way we can so that we can reach people that have not been reached so far. In fact, that is what Jesus would expect us to do, to reach those outside who have not been reached so that the gospel will not remain in. As our chairman would always say, the church is where we come to be coached and after we've been coached, we go out there as light and as salt. We go out there to make impact in lives outside. Hi, I'm Lindsay Doku, First Lady of the French District in Maryland. And I'm so excited with what God is doing through the Home and Urban Missions Ministry at the Church of Pentecost here in the United States. This is the ministry reaching out to all in a gathering that is relevant to culture and traditions. When we meet people where they are and speak their language, sing songs that they're familiar with, eat food that they've grown up with, this is the point that people can open their lives and hearts to the good news of Jesus Christ. In this environment, they can learn and grow in faith, not having to fit in with a culture they do not feel like they belong. And it's important to continue this good work. Matthew 24, 14 says, and the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations that word meaning people groups, and then the end will come. If we as Christians truly are looking forward to the wedding day where we see Jesus face to face, then we should all be in a hurry to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, no matter what price it takes. And it's so easy to do here in America where the people groups are already here. We must just do the work. Amen. Pour ce des nations, je transforme mon monde. Cher bien-aimé, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Je suis l'ancien Bini Kwame de l'église de Pentecôte aux États-Unis, section francophone. Nous avons maintenant deux districts ici aux États-Unis et quelques assemblées dans d'autres États. Donc notre objectif, c'est de gagner vraiment les francophones pour le Seigneur. Donc c'est pour cela la mission du Ben a décidé que nous puissions commencer vraiment cette œuvre et c'est en train de prendre de l'ampleur. Nous avons besoin de votre soutien. Que vraiment le Seigneur vous bénisse. Hello, praise be to God. My name is Jeremy Wilson and I'm the deacon for the Indian Assembly, Indian Community. For the home and urban, we are so much grateful for what God is doing in our life and, uh, you know, throughout the community. And we are so much blessed by the home and urban community that it gives us the privilege to, you know, worship through in our own languages and, you know, to praise God. And that's what the most important thing is. Being somewhere else or like, you know, just being at home doesn't make me happy. The only thing that makes me happy is being in God's presence. You know, in the Bible it says this, this is a day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. You know, that's what I love about the ministry uh, on Church of Pentecost, that everybody's so happy, you know, we just rejoice, you know, every single time in God's presence as we can. And I just wanna let you know, the ministry has been so much blessed to our family and we, we've been trying our level best, you know, to reach the unknown communities around us, you know, especially the Indian community. There are so many people around us that we don't know, but we're still trying to reach them and, you know, be part of their life and to invite to our church to be part of us again. I mean, hallelujah. And may God bless each and every one you know, mightily and for the works we do for the kingdom of God. You know, all our talents and everything is not for us. It's it's for a God and it's for a kingdom. And uh, I bless each and every one in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Gloire à Dieu. Bonsoir, Fabrak Samuel. No pam, c'est Sœur Daline. Moi, c'est Mom l'Église, Bonne Cotis. PIWC, Assemblée Créole Française dans Ouster. Pasteur Gérard Hegan, c'est Pasteur Distria. Puis, pour les gens qui marchent dans l'église, ils sont sortis Haïti, mais ils ne connaissent pas vraiment la doctrine de l'église. 
Mais grâce à Dieu, avec Pasteur, nous avons enseigné nous toute doctrine l'Église Pentecôtiste là. Nous avons dit qu'il y a que la population nous a augmenté. Et moi-même, je moi me vraiment fier de ce que je fais partie de l'Assemblée. Ça. Merci. Que bon Dieu bénisse nous. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, church. Overseer Andrew Gomez here. Home and Urban Missions Ministry is a ministry uh, that goes into the slums, that goes uh, into the worst places, into uh, the worst territories, uh, unthinkable. And we go and we preach the word of God to the unsaved. And also we uh, fellowship and open churches uh, from different backgrounds, nationalities, and cultures. Uh, so this is a home and urban missions ministry. Uh, and I want you to be a uh, part of it as well. Uh, you can be a part of it by giving and donating uh, as the week and program comes. So please, uh, we plead with you and we ask of your support. Thank you and God bless you. Gloire à Jésus. Gloire à Jésus. Vraiment, le dit en français est déjà un privilège. Venez adorer le Seigneur en français. Venez rendre son témoignage en français. Venez parler de Jésus en français et appeler même le Seigneur par la langue que nous avons toujours parlé. Rends le culte singulier, rends le culte particulier, rends le culte naturel et rend le culte vrai. Alors, adorer le Seigneur dans la langue qu'on a toujours parlé, c'est rester en communion et de façon constante avec le Saint-Esprit. Faire le culte en français dénote d'une singularité au Père. Oui, c'est pourquoi nous aimerons inviter tous les frères, toutes les sœurs, nous vous invitons à venir faire le culte en français avec nous. Ce n'est pas déporter l'Afrique aux états unis c'est juste adorer le Seigneur sur une terre différente. I want to thank every one of you, a former national head, uh, Papa God Richard bless you, and all our leaders, our past leaders, Apostle uh, Semno retired, Papa God Richard bless you, and all the executive members, we cannot mention all of you, but you know the work that you're doing. Last year, some of you supported the ministry. You can send your support. We don't do any fundraising, but you can send your support to the nation and uh, indicate for home and urban missions. The work is great, and we depend on all of us to show our support for this ministry. The Lord has called all of us, and the mission has been given to us, and we all need to come together and win souls for our Lord Jesus Christ. May God richly bless you. Nous avons ce devoir en tant que les enfants de Dieu, euh, surtout ministère urbain d'évangélisation. Dieu nous a appelés pour que nous puissions travailler ensemble, gagner des âmes pour la gloire de Dieu. C'est ma prière qu'ensemble nous allons travailler de manière dure et forte pour gagner beaucoup des âmes pour la gloire de Dieu. Que Dieu vous bénisse, que sa paix reste avec vous maintenant et à jamais au nom de Jésus. Amen. So this year, as we celebrate, promote, and create awareness of HAM in our various assemblies, I want to implore all of you to join in. Let's hold hands together so that with HAM, we will go out and reach people for the Lord. From November 11th to the 17th, please join in and let us all take HAM, do ministry outside the four walls of the church. May the Lord God Almighty continue to bless us bless his church and may he cause us to all to be fruitful in reaching lost souls god bless you i know you're going to do it and you will reap the benefits of it may the lord god almighty bless you all thank you very much